This is the Defence School of Transport in East Yorkshire. Unlikely solar pioneers. Straight up and down at that curb at the top, or we'll be over. It's home to training squadrons for the Army, Air Force and Marines. Biggest driving school in the world here in Leckenfield. 10,000 students a year. 500 vehicles are operated from here. And collectively, they accumulate 5 million miles a year. The principles of power generation date back to the 19th century. This is how you make electricity. We've got some steam on here, boys. Really, we've just made our own power station. We've got the heat that's boiling the water. The water is creating steam. The steam's turning the turbine. The turbine turns the generator. And the light bulb is the national grid. You can see, look, come on, come on. There's a little bit of a glimmer. Can you see? Test Roger, you imagine bang. Stick a bit of a flame to it, kaboom. I expected that. That has proved there's a lot of energy in hydrogen. But do not do that at home. It's not sensible. <laughs> the gas carefully made in Orkney is stored in bottles that can be delivered anywhere, like the airport. These fins will have to survive North Sea winds for 25 years, so everything has to be securely stuck down. The final check is done with a spring hammer, listening for dead spots. How's that sound? It sounds like there's a little bit of air sort of running along that top. Just there? Yeah. So get the bottom of that and just push it on, not too hard, and just run it across. Yeah, so just like that, squidging all the, the air out, basically, all the excess sealing. You, sometimes you hear it. Yeah, let's give it another tap. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, happy enough? There, yeah. Tom, you are the man. Thank you very much. No worries. Look at that down there. Get your camera down that line, boy. See, Tom knows what he's doing. You're not messing about, boy. One hundred and sixty square miles, right? That's the size of the Isle of Man. To fly from one end to the other in a straight line is 20 minutes in a helicopter. That's 20 minutes. <laughs> what is this? Time and the place to swear it is here. Yeah, biggest wind farm in the world. Here's the numbers, right? 165 of those 8 megawatts apiece. This wind farm is a fair-sized power station. But it has the potential to power 1.4 million homes when it's on full song. So we're not very windy today, are we? So I doubt very much that we're on full song today, but whatever. There isn't a lot of wind, but we're all turning. Yeah, it's a fantastic power station. Look at it. 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 Yes, I'm over the moon, really. Over the moon. Um, we all passed. So that's four of us off out to the wind farm. The biggest wind farm in the world. It's not just the biggest wind farm in the country, it's the biggest wind farm in the world. Yeah, let's go have a look. Looking forward to it. So 
two, one. Fire now. Fire now. Fire now. All sentries maintain your position. No lesson. Said as calmly as that. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> that was very much. In the space of 12 seconds, a 50-year landscape has changed forever. That was just absolute devastation. The substation next door survives intact, but otherwise Egbra is now rubble. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a bit getting over that. 99% of which will be recycled. Can you see us? Yeah, what we've got here is like the safety overflow valve, the safety valve. So if we get on a day like today where it's raining like hell, we have the safety relief valve which releases the excess pressure. This will get rid of, when it's wide open, 14,000 litres a second, right? The test it once a year. I'm going to test it. We're going to open it about a quarter. So I'm going to clamber up there. I'm going to do a bit of winding. You'll see how I go. Fantastic. There she goes. The water escapes with the same ferocity that it spins the turbines, an awesome force with which to make clean electricity. Yeah, that works the best, 100%. surface of the sun, <laughs> 1100 degrees. And all of this is just a heat water. Like everything that we've seen from the mills, from the conveyors, from the storage tanks, it's just a big kettle, that's all we're doing. All of that complication, just a heat water. How many people get to see that? Yeah, the heart of the beast. Six of those, flat out. It's a device to tell me how much I'm spending when I plug something in. We're going to weigh up the costs of running my shed for a year. The costs start racking up. That's 1p. They do say it. And I don't know why people are like, why did anyone ever say a watch kettle never boils? Because a watch kettle does boil. 2p, nearly 2,800 watts. It's a lot of wattage, that. It's the same power as 28 average cyclists pedalling as hard as they can. There she goes, 4p to boil the kettle. Just clicked over 4p. Right, so we're going to do the maths. Right, how many times do I boil a kettle a day? You spend a lot of time with me, haven't you? If we did, say, times 10, that's 10 a day. It's 40p. So over a year, we'd have to go times 365. Bloody hell, that surprises me. 146 pounds to boil a kettle a year. If I boiled it 10 times a day, every day for the year, 140, I wasn't expecting that. Bloody hell. Right, so that's just the kettle. Let's try something else. The testing continues with Guy's welder, his garage freezer, and a workshop essential for heating up engine parts. Shazza was sick of me putting cylinder heads in the house oven next to the um, Sunday dinner. So she got me a, me own oven for Father's Day. So yeah, there it is. Five regular items and one shocking grand total. So for the year, to run my shed, and I am, this isn't made up, I haven't said, I don't know what this number's going to be, but it's going to be... Bloody hell, 730 quid a year, just to run the shed. 
Hey, 732 pounds a year. I'm gonna pat the kettle up, huh?